until you get to college. <laughs> Dave, how did it feel to finally get back out here and play a football game tonight? Oh, it felt great. You know, I give all the glory to God to be out here in this situation with my brothers and uh, competing against a great team, high respect for him, you know. Q, Tayshawn, all the Hilliard, you know, I got great respect for him. So it felt great to be out here with my brothers. Looked like you were battling some cramps there. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, about halfway through the game, I started cramping up both casts. So I those never got rid. I still got them right now. So it's, uh, it's, it's killing me right now. But. It seems like they were kind of you know running the ball away from you, but you get the shutout. You know how good does that feel to start your season? For feels shutout? great. You know we have a great, great coaching staff put us in a great position. You know our D line, you did a phenomenal job. You know couldn't couldn't give high respect to them. You know they're blowing through there, and uh, coach put us or secondary contained the receivers. You know they got one deep ball. You know cross the touchdown. It was a great catch. So uh, we got it done. I guess the. They put you on a matchup with Pew. How do you how do you think that went for you, and why do you think they did that for you? Oh, uh, that went great because uh, he was one of the best tight ends in the nation. You know, going to Wisconsin, me going to high State, they uh, uh, put big versus big. So uh, he did a great job. High respect for him. You know, and uh, we got it done. Heard you were a little under the weather this week. Just how tough was this tonight? Yes, sir. Uh, when uh, the allergies get bad, my uh, breathing gets pretty bad. So I had to battle that throughout the game. You know. Get the uh, allergies and butyrol and stuff like that, but uh, I was doing good. Gabe, how, how big of a part of your game is your coverage skill? I don't, I don't know if people talk about that a whole lot when you talk about it. Yes, sir. Uh, I believe I can man up with anybody if you put me in man. You know, a lot of times we're not in man, but when we're in man, you know, I try to pick uh, the best target and uh, I would go one on one and uh, I'm willing to do that matchup. I don't know if you see too many guys your size who are out there covering slots or covering athletic tight ends like, like Jack. Like, how have you sort of developed, I guess, since being somebody who can do that? Uh, over the uh, summer, I worked with uh, Donna Washington. Played for Ohio State and then played for Chiefs and Steelers. So uh, he is one of the best DB coaches out there. I trained with him. I trained with Butch Reginald, speed, footwork, and stuff like that. So uh, I grew up into this offseason and uh, got better on my coverage. You feel pretty comfortable out in the yeah, space like that? Where do you train with Donald Washington? What would you say? Where do you train with Donald Washington at? Uh, I train here. Here? Here. Yeah. How nice is it to have that Ohio State commitment behind you and not have to worry about recruiting now as you're playing your season? What did you say? To have that commitment oh, okay. behind you, is it yeah, nice not to have to worry about that anymore? It's a big relief, you know, being able to just play high school football with my brothers, you know, and uh, knowing I'm going to the best team in the nation feels good. Is it weird knowing that you're playing this fall and Ohio State is not? <laughs> it's, it's weird, really weird, you know. Hopefully they get to play November, but... Uh, you know, Michigan will get a break for one year. We'll get to beat them again. Hopefully, we get a break. For one year. What are kind of your expectations for your junior year as a whole? Uh, you know, just uh, do the best I can for this team and uh, this program, and uh, yeah, do all I can for the team. Okay, who do you think that, sorry, let me cut you off. Oh, you're good. How do you think uh, you and Desan and CJ all kind of fit together in this class like, position? Uh, yeah, we're uh, like I said, best trio in the nation. I saw you know. that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's true. So, uh, Sean Otten and uh, CJ, great players, you know. You know, they're, uh, couldn't say enough good about them. I mean, athletic, off the charts, you know. We're it's going to be it's gonna be real good when we get to high state. You all seem kind of like, very similar, uh, kind of versatile, and it's kind of hard to figure out where you might ultimately play, I guess, in college. Yes, sir. So, uh, I know CJ. Is uh, so he'd be out the uh, like hybrid safety, yeah. and I would be like uh, maybe rush the end, drop back, cover tight end, stop the run. So we're on two up, up the sides, you know. So uh, look forward to getting there. Do you think that versatility is a big part of what Ohio State's trying to bring you guys in all to do? Uh, yes, sir. You know, it's uh, it's a big part of what they're trying to. Do, I think. I mean, I. I'm not going to speak for Rosh or anything. You know, that's coaches, so uh, you'd have to ask him that question. But uh, it's a big He won't give us the playbook. We've asked him. Uh, maybe for me, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Who are the next guys you're trying to recruit to get in this 2022 class? Uh, you know, we're, uh, we're pushing for Bennett still, you know, September. I'm trying to get him. Uh, trying to get Zach Rice. Trying to get uh, Odyssey Sean Murray. Trying to get all of them, so. Is there enough room for all those linebackers? Uh, Sean Murphy, yeah, we uh, got plenty of room. 
Ben a Christian, you know, he's a tight end. Yeah. But. So, uh, Zach Rice and Austin Tech, so, yeah, we're, we're good. You mentioned rush in, outside linebacker type of thing. Who, who are your two, like, who, who's recruiting you mainly, and what are they telling you then? Like, all the teams? No, no, I'm sorry, Ohio State coaches. What are they telling me about my position? Yeah, and who's recruiting you? Uh, Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, it just tells me, you know, that's, uh, you know, you're going to walk up with the line, blitz off the edge from time, drop back, cover tight end, but then uh, stop the run, so. Doing that appeals to you? What? That appeals to you? That's whatever they put me at. I play so long. Is, is uh, what we saw tonight, which is like basically you just kind of foul on the most dangerous guys, is that kind of typical of a guy like this usually? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a competitor, you know, my uh, family full football, you know, my other brother used to play West Virginia, transferred to uh, ODU. My dad tried out the pros, so, you know, even even trying to get to the food, you know, it's always good <laughs> competition. A bunch of linebackers in our house. So, uh, it's, I'm always competing. I love to compete, so I want the best player on the field. You mentioned, you know, trying to get Sean Murphy. I mean, you guys could have four of the best linebackers in the class in one class. Do you relish that, kind of all coming in together and competing with each other? Yes, sir. You know, I'm looking forward to it. Cause, uh, I'm looking forward to competing with my brothers, you know, and uh, whoever gets out there, you know, just uh, being with them, supporting them, and uh, bringing them a national championship. So in the Powers House, what food brings out the most competition? Uh, probably prime rib. Prime rib. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. We don't get that too much, but when it is, you know, it's a fight. <laughs> Have you been in touch with any of the guys who are at Ohio State right now, just kind of about what to expect in a couple of years? Uh, not yet. Uh, I've talked to some of the guys that graduated, just um, some long snappy players at Raiders now. Uh, I'm not training with uh, Butch Reynolds. I saw him at the practice field and talked to him about the high state, and they had nothing but good to say about it. What do you think about seeing you know the guys of the class above you that might have this opportunity to come in and play right away this spring? Uh, you know that's I like Jack Swear. Yeah. Yeah, you know you got to do what's best for you, uh, my brother. So uh, whatever his decision is, you know uh, that's his decision. And you know if he can come in and start play right away, that's that's a pretty smart decision if you ask me. Thank you.